and it's like time to start the next wave. And there's some controversy, by the way, if you can imagine like an A-list and a B-list, where the A-list are the VCs you really want money from, and so that they're kind of high risk because if they say no, you're not going back to them. And then the B-list would be the folks that, you know, they'd be okay to get money from them, but you know, they're not... So sort of they're not the same kind of risk factor. And then the question is, do you start with your A list or do you start with your B list? Because some say start with your B list, you know, get the story down and that sort of thing, and then you can move to your A list. But what if one of your B list people actually gives you a term sheet? Now it's pretty risky to basically say no to that on the prospects that, oh, I haven't gone to my A list. But your A list may actually your A list usually is a harder, higher, it's a lower chance of success with your A list. So then, so then you say you start with your A list, but now you're, you know, you're coming, not coming to market with your best story. So that's kind of like, you know, a real decision point for some folks. Okay, we've got a, another question. Uh, uh, as he even pointed out, a little off topic, but uh, 